you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. If you guys haven't heard, the Sephora VIB spring sale has finally been announced. So today I'm here to share with you all the items that I think are worth your money. I will leave all the information for the VIB sale linked down below, the dates and things like that. So if you guys have questions about that, please refer to my description box. And if you're interested in seeing my recommendations, then stay tuned. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so before you go. I post videos every single Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And without further ado, let's get into my recommendations. All right, you guys, so I am filming with my new camera. This is my second time filming with this, first time filming with like me in the frame. I already filmed my April shot my stash, which I believe is gonna go up after this video. But bear with me as I figure out like my settings and stuff. It'll probably be a little bit before I figure out the settings. And I know with this camera, I can't add a microphone. So it may take me a little bit to figure out the best thing for the audio as well. So hoping not too much, so hoping there won't be too much wonky things going on, but we are going to jump into my recommendations here. I tried to narrow it down to like my top three picks for each category type of thing, like three foundations, three concealers or less um, in each, in each category. So I tried to narrow it down, but I still have so much stuff laid out in front of me to talk about. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to start with makeup and end with skincare. So starting with primers, I have three to recommend to you guys. The first two, so for me personally, I have pretty dry skin, so I prefer a more hydrating primer. So the first two are like my ride or die primers. First, I have the Hello Fab, the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Now, I know that they did just release two new primers, but I have not tried those, and this has been a favorite of mine for quite some time now. Would definitely recommend if you like a more hydrating primer and this one also gives a little bit of luminosity or a little bit of a glow as well and it smells like coconut so I love this one and then I also wanted to recommend the Smashbox photo finish primerizer this one is super super hydrating as well but not overly hydrating I feel like you may even like this if you have oily skin I just love what it does for my skin it's not going to mattify it's not going to smooth stuff out but it is just going to like hydrate the skin and give you a perfect base to lay your makeup on and then this one is one that i've been testing out so this is more of this is this is a newer product to me but i've really been enjoying it so far but i have only had it for a couple weeks now so proceed with caution on this recommendation but it is the milk hydro grip primer this is such a unique primer it has such a weird consistency and texture but it's super super hydrating and it holds on to your makeup so well i have really been enjoying this i purchased mine in the mini just so that i could give it a try but if things continue the way that they have been going then i definitely will be picking this up in a full size in the future all right you guys next up for foundation first we have the ysl tushy clot foundation this is the radiance awakening foundation i believe if I get this video up on time on my schedule, yesterday I will have posted my ranking all of my foundation video, ranking all of my foundations video. And I rank this number one. This is my favorite foundation currently in my collection. I just love the finish that this gives to the skin. It gives a really nice dewy, radiant sort of finish and I just absolutely love it. It is a pricier foundation. I will have everything linked down below with a price next to them, but I think it's totally worth it and what better time to buy it than when you get a discount. Next up, we have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I just absolutely love this foundation and I think this is a foundation that's going to be suited to and I think this is a foundation that's going to be suited towards any skin type. I think if you have dry skin, you can make this work for you. And I think if you have oily skin, you can make this work for you as well. This just gives such a natural sort of finish to the skin. If I want a more like matte, satin matte kind of look, I will just go in with a blurring primer. And if I want a more, not radiant look, but just like a nice natural look, with like a little hint of like hydration in there. I'll just add one of my favorite hydrating primers that I just mentioned and I love this every single time I use it, no matter the primer, no matter how my skin is looking that day, I just absolutely can't get enough of this foundation. I believe this is the foundation that I've repurchased the most in my collection. I think I've gone through three or four of these and this is another one that I will continue and continue and continue to repurchase. I was just going to leave it at those two foundations, but I also wanted to recommend the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Now, this is the Illuminated 
version, the one in the pink packaging. I prefer more of a luminous sort of finish, so that's why I am recommending this one. I also have the original, which just leaves my skin a little bit too flat for my liking. But the reason I'm recommending this is I love this foundation for the summertime because I can get away with using this without an SPF, like just going in with this as my foundation or my makeup, and my my face is never burned on me because this has SPF 50 in it, so I absolutely love it as basically like my face SPF, even though I know like some of you are probably horrified <laughs> hearing that, but I truly have never burned using this and I think it is a really nice foundation for that reason. Not one I wear year round and not my favorite foundation ever, like it, it definitely isn't my favorite finish by any means, but because it does such a nice job of protecting my face from the skin in the summer, I always reach for this when I'm going out like for a long walk. I usually go for like three to six mile walks on my days off around like one of our lakes in the summertime and then if I'm going to the lake, if I'm going boating, if I'm just gonna be outside for a while, I'm always reaching for this when I know it's gonna be a sunny, sunny day. So would definitely recommend this as well. Next up, I just have two concealers to recommend and I say this on my channel all the time. I get really bored of my concealers and I feel like I haven't found my absolute perfect concealer yet. There's a couple concealers that I have my eye on to try during the Sephora VIB sale, but two that I do really like and always come back to is the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting multi-use sculpting concealer. I know a lot of people rave about this. If you like the coverage of the sharp, of the sharp, of the Tarte Shape Tape, but find that it's a little bit too dry for you, I would recommend checking out the Too Faced Born This Way. This is a much better value than the Tarte Shape Tape as well because I believe this one's a dollar more at $28, but you get so much more product in this one. I have mine in the shade Swan. I really, really love this. It gives a like amazing full coverage finish to the skin uh, without being drying. But I don't always love a super full coverage concealer, so I also wanted to recommend the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. This is a little bit more lightweight. This is also super hydrating, um, and I have really been enjoying this so far as well. I have mine in the shade 110, which is a little bit too light for me, so sometimes I mix it with a little bit more of like a darker concealer. I'll mix this with a different concealer to get a better not so stark contrast um but when i finish this this one up i definitely will purchase this probably in just like a shade or two up because i do really enjoy the formula on this this one only gives kind of like a medium coverage so if you have to have a full coverage concealer i'd probably skip this and go with the Too Faced. but if you like a light to medium coverage concealer i would definitely recommend checking out the fenty beauty pro pro filter and then i just have two powders to recommend one loose and one pressed for my loose Powder, I'm going to be recommending the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I love this powder. This is by far my favorite loose powder in my collection. I don't love to use loose powder all the time, but I actually find myself reaching for this even on days that I wasn't necessarily even going to go in with the powder because I just love the finish this gives to the skin. It gives just like a little bit of like a healthy glow, nothing too, too glowy, not like glittery by any means, but it's not just like your average translucent powder it gives just like a slight hint of a glow so i absolutely love this i even prefer this over the hourglass vanish powder which i know everyone raves about and then the other one another glowy powder but this is a pressed powder this is the hourglass luminous light no am, the hourglass ambient lighting powder in luminous light i hesitated to pick this up for the longest time but I'm so glad I finally did. I wish I would have, I may have to end up pulling this into my shop, my stash late, just because it's such a beautiful powder. I use this as an all over face setting powder on days that I want a little bit more of a glow. You can use this as a subtle highlight as well. Typically, I don't use this as a highlight, I just use it as an all over face setting powder. I definitely will repurchase this when I finish this because this has been a favorite of mine now for well over a year. So, would definitely recommend checking out the Hourglass ambient lighting moving on to bronzer i have two to recommend and there were more bronzers that i could have recommended but i wanted to just choose some that i feel like not everyone is talking about one a lot of people could talk about but it's a new bronzer um but i know everyone will recommend the mark jacobs tantastic bronzer which is a phenomenal bronzer and i do love that one but i figured you'd hear about that in everybody's recommendation videos so i have two other ones to recommend you guys the first is the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer, and I really like this as a warm bronzer for the summertime. I really enjoy or find myself reaching for this a lot, which tells me obviously that I really do enjoy the bronzer, so I would definitely recommend this one. 
And then the other one, this has only been in my collection for about two weeks now. I bought this the day that it launched, but I have literally wanted to reach for this every single day since I purchased it. It is the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer. I had mine in the lightest shade, which is Indus Sun. Indus Sun. I just got it. Um, like in the sun. That's funny. Uh, I love this bronze, you guys. I know, proceed with caution. I've only been using it a couple weeks, but I have quickly fallen in love and would call this my favorite bronzer, at least at this moment. I have never fallen in love with a bronzer as much as this one right away. It is a matte bronzer. If you like more of a glowy bronzer, I would recommend maybe the Becca... I would recommend the Becca Sunlit sunlit bronzers that's another one i could easily recommend but i know so many people recommend that too i love that bronzer i have quite a few bronzers in my collection that i do really enjoy but this again has quickly become a new favorite of mine and i would definitely recommend checking these out during the sale and then are we even surprised that i couldn't narrow down blush to three i have four blushes to recommend i didn't even realize my love for blush was so high until this year when i i realize that I can't pan blush because I always want to be rotating my blush because I just love having a different blush color every single day and there are a lot of good blush formulas out there as well but I have four to recommend you guys today these two are newest to my collection so this is actually a cream blush this is from milk makeup I just have mine in the mini this is in the shade work and it is just such a beautiful rosy toned blush so easy to work with. I am so glad that I picked this up on a whim. Um, and I'm definitely going to be getting a ton of use out of this this summer. I really want to pick up the Milk Baked Bronzer Stick um, to test that out or to try that out too. But I don't currently own that. And then I also have this Buxom Blush in the, in the shade Seychelles, which I also have really been enjoying. This is just a beautiful like nude bronzy sort of blush and this one has a subtle glow to it as well i would almost i would call this more of like a satin sort of blush it's definitely not matte so if you only like matte blushes i would probably skip this one but i've really been enjoying a little bit of a glow on my cheeks rather than just a totally matte blush so I've really been enjoying these two and then basically any of the hourglass blushes i would recommend i just grabbed this one out of my drawer this is in the shade euphoric fusion this one's a super super subtle blush just like the slightest hint of like a peachy pink sort of color this one also gives a beautiful beautiful luminosity and glow to the cheeks so i'm definitely going to be reaching for this one a ton in the summertime i also love mood exposure it's currently in the other room where i get ready because i've been using that one lately and then I also wanted to recommend the Jouer Blush Duos. You get so much product in these for $30. So I think they're a really great value. This one is in the shade Adore Me. Adore Me. Adore. This shade is Adore Me. Which is one of my favorite blush shades. Again, just such a beautiful, neutral, rosy toned blush. I've really been enjoying this blush palette as well. So would definitely recommend all four of those blushes. Love them. Love blush so much. I don't have a contour to recommend necessarily, but I did want to give an honorable honorable mention to the Smashbox Cali Contour Kit. Now, this is newer to my collection as well. I've only had this a few weeks, but I've been really enjoying the contour shade out of here as well as this blush shade. I've used a ton in the last couple weeks, and I think that both are really, really beautiful. So if you're looking for like a good face palette for travel, I would definitely recommend this Kelly Contour Kit. I haven't really tested out the blushes yet or this bronzer. I have used this one underneath the eyes. It's a really nice lightening shade as well, but just wanted to get a quick shout out to the Kelly Contour Kit. Moving on to highlights, I have a highlighting palette plus three highlights to recommend. Uh, I recently talked about both of these highlights. I can't remember what video, but if you've if you're not new to my channel, like you'll probably have a pretty decent idea, at least about two of the highlights. The first is this Fenty Beauty highlight. Now this is in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And as you can tell, I've hit pan in this. I think it was my um, 
products. I have hip pan on that. I was talking about both of these. But this is by far my favorite highlight in my collection. I definitely will be picking up a couple, I think two more Fenty highlights during the sale because I am obsessed with the Fenty highlight formula. Again, Lightning Dust Fire Crystal personally is my favorite. It works really well for my fair skin. If I use up this side, which is kind of my goal this year, it's the more subtle of the two sides, um, I'll definitely be buying another one of these. Next up we have the Natasha Denona Glow in the shade number one. This is the original. This isn't the super glow. I've also hit pan in this. It is such a beautiful highlight formula. You can, this, you can have as more of a subtle highlight, um, but you can definitely build it up to a more intense highlight and it just gives that beautiful wet sort of look to the skin that I personally absolutely love out of my highlights. So I would definitely recommend that. And then this is a recent obsession of mine. This is the Becca highlight. I just have a mini in the shade Rose Quartz, but I do believe you can get this in a full size. And if you have fair skin and like to like pop a little highlight on your cheek to make it look like you have just like the smallest hint of like a sunburn, but it's like glowy, then I would definitely recommend picking up Rose Quartz. I'm going to be using this all summer long. I can already tell you guys because I just absolutely love the look that it gives to my skin personally. So definitely recommend that, especially if you have like a similar complexion to me. And then I also just wanted to shout out the ABH Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful palette, especially obviously for the summertime. I know I reach for mine all the time in the summertime, so I figured this would be the perfect time to recommend this. And even though this has been out for quite some time, I still personally really enjoy the ABH highlight formula, and it's one that I would still continue, the one that I still continue to use, and one that I would still continue to recommend. I believe the um. Why can't I speak? The Sun Dipped is my favorite of all of them. I personally also really enjoy the Aurora one, um, but as far as one that's like universally sort of a better option probably than the colorful one, I would recommend Sun Dipped. Before jumping into eyeshadow palettes that I would recommend, I just wanted to briefly touch on my favorite eyebrow product, which again, if you're not new to my channel, you probably already know. I absolutely love the ABH Brow Powder Duo. I have mine in the shade Ebony. As you can tell, I have pan going in mine. It's what I have in my brows today. And then I also just wanted to recommend the ABH, and I've worn, worn the name away of this, but it is her eyebrow brush. I'll link it below again. I think it is such a good eyebrow brush. Definitely by far the best one that I personally have ever tried. So these are the two eyebrow products that I would recommend. Okay, I do have four different eyeshadow formulas to recommend or eyeshadow palettes. First, I have the Urban Decay Born to Run. I love this palette. I think it is such a good option if you are looking for a palette that's going to offer you a good variety. Um, it's a, really a neutral palette with a bunch of, or with some color mixed in, mostly shimmer colors, but I love this palette. I think it's great for travel. I think it's great for every day. I know I'm currently trying to pan the shade Riff in here. This is what I have on my eyes today. You can do neutral looks. You can spice it up and add some color. Again, a perfect travel palette because you do you are offered 21 different shades. So really love this guy. I think the formula on this is also really, really good. And then I wanted, no, I only have three. Oh, Nice job. And they have three eyeshadow formulas to recommend. Um, so next is ABH. These are my two favorite ABH palettes. First I have the Soft Glam and then the Sultry. If you are more of a cool toned type of a gal, I would recommend the Sultry palette. It's such a unique palette in that it, again, is more cool toned, but the shimmers are in here are absolutely outstanding. They are so foiled, so intense, so metallic. I love them and I, this is a palette that I did not purchase right away and normally I purchase all ABH palettes like immediately but I at first thought this was kind of like a boring palette and I wasn't intrigued but then I went in store and swatched some of the shimmers and I just could not go any longer without having this in my collection so would definitely recommend the ABH Sultry and then also the Soft Glam. This has got to be my favorite personally. I just absolutely love the shades and love the tones in this. Again, I really like some of the shimmers in here, but I love that you're offered this deep mulberry red shade. I always talk about that shade as being one of my favorites. And then I really like these four matte brown shades at the bottom. I think they are phenomenal. I travel with this palette all the time as well. I think it is so good. 
And finally, you guys probably already know the Huda Obsessions palettes. I love them. I think they're great. I have all six of the originals plus two of the gemstones. Wouldn't recommend the gemstones. Would not recommend the gemstones as much. I don't think they are nearly as good as the originals. Here is the, or not warm, here's the smoky. Such a beautiful palette. Again, a nice cool toned option if you are more of a cool toned type of a gal. And then the Warm Brown Obsessions I absolutely love as well. I pull this one out all the time in the fall time. I love every single look that I create with this. If you are looking for a fun summer palette, I would definitely recommend the Coral Obsessions too. I brought that one traveling with me all the time last summer and I just loved every single look that I created with that one as well. So I don't think you can go wrong with the Huda Obsessions. $27 for nine shades. I love having these little mini compact palettes personally. So we're definitely would definitely recommend checking these out. Now, I am not one to spend a whole heck of a lot of money on mascara, but if you guys don't mind dropping a couple dollars on more expensive mascaras, I do have two to recommend to you guys. I really have enjoyed the Ed Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I would only consider purchasing this if I could get it on sale because, again, I really don't like to spend more than like $10 on a mascara, but if I could get this half off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty in like the fall time, I would I would pick this up because this is one of the best higher end mascaras that I've tried. And then I've also really been enjoying the Milk Kush Mascara as well. Again, this actually is one that I would maybe, maybe purchase in the full size, which is crazy because again, I like have refused to spend more than $10 on mascara for the last like two years, but I really, really love the volume that this gives. This is super long lasting too, and I don't, I don't get any like flaking or transfer with this one, so I really, really do recommend the Milk Kush Mascara. One setting spray to recommend, I've been loving the ABH Dewy Set setting spray. Now I know this is $26, and there are less expensive options out there. The, um, not L'Oreal, the, the Pixie Glow Mist is kind of a similar dupe. I feel like that one is even more glowy. Um, but I just have really been enjoying this. I will definitely repurchase this when I finish this one. I love the way that this one smells and I love the finish that this gives to the skin. If you don't like dewy skin, I would definitely not recommend this because it does give a glow to the skin. But for me personally, that's something that I like and I've really been enjoying this. Okay, I have four lip products to recommend. I have four glosses and a bullet lipstick formula. First, Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, my favorite, favorite lip, or favorite lip gloss formula of all time. I have the original as well as Fussy, and I do plan to pick up Diamond Milk during the sale because I just need to round out and complete my collection. You literally cannot go wrong with this formula. It's so beautiful, not sticky. I love, I love the shade. I think the shades are created to be so universally flattering that you just truly cannot go wrong. So would definitely recommend these. On my lips today, I have the Tarte H2O gloss in the shade Getaway. I have a couple of the Tarte H2O glosses, and these I also really like. I think they're pretty long lasting. They're like, they're not sticky. They're not sticky. No, I was gonna say they're like a hair sticky, but they're really not. Um, and they're not chunky or like, they're not like one of those gross lips, lip gloss formulas. So I really, really do enjoy this one as well. I think that it does give a little bit of hydration to the lips too, which I personally can appreciate because my lips are always super dry. There's a bunch of fun colors in this formula or yeah, in this line as well. So would definitely recommend checking those out. Also the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Glosses. I really like. I have mine in the shade Fireball. This gives a minty sort of a plumping effect to the lips. I don't know that my lips look super plump with this, but it definitely has that minty sort of scent or feel to the lips, which I personally, again, can really appreciate. So really enjoy this formula. We definitely, um, or I'm, I am definitely considering picking up a few more of these. They're $20 though, which I don't love. But. And then I've re-fallen in love with the Buxom lip gloss formula this year. This is in the shade Dolly. Seriously, um, I'm seriously like obsessed with this shade. I just found this in one of my purses probably around it was either december or january and this was pretty much full and i have used this much product so like a third of the product i have really really fallen back in love with this and i definitely want to pick more of those up and then for the bullet lipstick that i have to recommend i have the tarte h2o i think Either that or Tarte Amazonian, Rainforest of the Sea, Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks. Um, my favorite shade is Rum Punch. And you guys, I 
love this lipstick formula it is so creamy so hydrating it's not gonna last you all day and it's not a matte formula so i totally understand if that's like not your vibe then you can absolutely skip these but i just love this lipstick formula this one right here they're these two are like virtually the same shade um but this is in the shade colada it's just a little bit warmer than this one this one has like a little bit more of like a pinky tone to it whereas colada is more like an orangey brown um but love both of these super comfortable formula have definitely considered picking more of these up but just trying to like whittle away at my lipstick collection or lip gloss or lip product collection i'm trying to like reel it in before i really go crazy and buy a bunch more but definitely recommend um this has been a favorite in my collection for over a year now so you can't go wrong okay so those are all of my makeup recommendations now we're going to end this with skincare starting with cleansers i have three favorites to recommend to you guys this one I just used the last like drops of this today. I need to pick a new one up of this during the sale. This is the Kale Green Tea and Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People. I've gone through multiple bottles of this. I love it. It is a very, very gentle cleanser that I love to use in the morning time. This is my go-to cleanser in the morning time for the past over a year. So I really, really love this. Would definitely recommend if you have dry skin or sensitive skin and you like a more gentle cleanser. At night, I have been using the Corez or Corez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cleanser for about two years now. This is like my ride or die cleanser at night. I love it. It does a really nice job of getting everything off, foaming up, sudsing up, does like a good job of that. I love to use this with my Clarisonic. Seriously, such a good cleanser. Again, I've been using this for like two years, so you know I like it. And then this one is newer to my collection. I've been using this the last like three months. This is the Tatcha, the Deep Cleanse Cleanser. And I, this might replace my youth to the people for a little bit just because I, I don't want to have so many cleansers in my collection. But I love to use this in the morning time as well because it gives such a burst of hydration to the skin. And it makes my skin honestly feel so plump, you guys. Like normally, I don't really understand what people are saying when they're like, oh, my skin feels super hydrated and super plump. But when I use this, I absolutely know what people are talking about. And I get that effect every single time I use this. So I have loved this cleanser. I know this one is super expensive. I think this is like $38, but sometimes you just gotta invest in your skincare. And I am like super, ha like I get happy and excited to use this, so that's how I know I love it and I would uh, definitely recommend checking this out if you haven't yet I have a couple of vitamin C favorites first this is the Ula Henriksen truth serum I've gone through many many bottles of these love this serum it's super hydrating and it has such a like it's super super hydrating it has a ton of vitamin C so it makes your skin look brighter I have been using this for like two and a half to three years now and I will continue to repurchase this because I love this product I love the way it smells I love the way it feels on my skin can't go wrong with this and then I kind of like interchangeably use these two this is the Kors wild rose uh, oil and I use this on days that I don't work and then I usually use this one on days I do work because this takes much longer to sink into the skin but I love the effect that this gives to my skin as well a nice brightening effect this one does have a pretty song, strong rose scent in fact it has like rose petals at the bottom so if you don't like rose scented things you should probably steer clear of this but this is another one that's been in my collection for years and I've really really loved this so for vitamin C these are my two go-to's Okay, so for moisturizer, I have different moisturizers that I would recommend for the winter time, but because we are heading into spring summer, I have my spring summer moisturizers to recommend. So I recently went through this Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate Glow Moisturizer, and I really, really liked this. This was a really nice, lightweight, almost gel-like moisturizer. It smelled really good, and it gave just like the slightest, subtlest, glow to the skin it sunk into the skin really quickly so i could go in with my makeup pretty quickly after that and it was just so lightweight which is really what i'm looking for with my summertime moisturizers so i really enjoyed this and i want to pick another one of these up during the sale and then the other one i have to recommend i don't have it with me but i do intend to pick it up during the sale it is the ula, Hen ula henriksen vita c creme i forget what it's called um and i also really like the vita c like eye cream by ula henriksen i want to pick both of those up 
both again super lightweight super brightening the eye cream does a really nice job of like de-puffing and i really enjoyed both those products intend to pick them up during the sale would definitely recommend checking those out too if that kind of sounds like your preferences i know for me personally in the summertime I just like a lighter weight moisturizer. I don't need a ton, ton of hydration, some, but not a ton. And I just need something that's gonna sink into my skin quickly. Give me a little bit of glow, give me a little bit of hydration. And those are two that I really like. I also, honorable mention, love the Clinique Moisture Surge. That is like an OG favorite. I would just always recommend that summer or winter but those are my summer moisturizer recommendations and then because i have dry skin i do love myself a good exfoliating product so i have two to recommend you guys the first is the kate somerville i sorry i'm trying to figure out like my lighting and my autofocus and things um and i don't know if you can even see the product from back here but this is the kate somerville exfoli kate and i went through one of these last year and i just fell in love with it which i didn't want to because kate somerville is so expensive but I fell in love with it, so I had to pick up another one of these. Now this one is pretty full. I typically only use this product like one to two times per week because it is more intense and I don't I don't have sensitive skin, but I don't want to like super irritate my skin either. So I use this a couple of times per week. I don't need to pick another one up during this sale, but this is another one that I'll continue to repurchase over and over again because I love it that much. And then another exfoliating product that I really do like is the Ula Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. This smells like a sauna this is such a cool product because as you rub it into your skin it like warms up or heats up on your face i usually use this in the shower and again i only use this like one to two times per week because it the the beads in it are like they're they're intense they're not like super harsh but they're also not like super gentle so between these two i try and and, and use a these both have physical exfoliant in them. I try and only use a physical exfoliant three to four times per week, but both of these are really great products and ones that I would recommend and repurchase myself. My favorite eye cream of all time is the Belief Moisture Eye Balm. I wasn't a believer in eye creams until I started using this product and noticed such a difference in the hydration or like the level of hydration underneath my eyes. I love to use this in the evening time and if I have the Ula Henriksen like eye bright cream I use that in the morning time and I just find that my eyes are so much more hydrated. I find that like my eyes don't appear to be as hooded and my lids don't like sink into each other as much and then underneath my eyes is just like so much less like wrinkly so much less little wrinkle lines and so much more hydrated so i would definitely recommend checking out the belief moisturizing eye balm as well as the as well as the ula henriksen vita eye cream i'll link it below i have three masks to recommend to you guys this one is kind of like an exfoliant as well but it's a dry exfoliant which is really cool so this is the saturday skin rub-a-dub refining peel gel and what you do is you put this on to your hands and you rub it on your dry skin and basically all of your dry dead skin collects and it's kind of gross it's like it's a pilly sort of feeling and before when i didn't necessarily understand how to use this product i thought it was disgusting and it is still kind of gross because it's a bunch of dry skin that like balls up and then you just obviously wash it away but it's a really cool product a really gentle product if you have more sensitive skin or if you don't like to use a physical exfoliant i would definitely recommend checking this product out i love this it's 28 dollars for a 75 milliliter 2.53 ounces and this has lasted me a really really long time i still have a ton of product left in this this is one that i can use i usually use this about three times per week just because it isn't harsh at all and it just is nice to to get all my dead skin off and have less dull skin so I really love this product and would definitely recommend for an overnight hydrating mask I like to use this a couple times per week I love this mask I love the way it smells I love the way that it performs on my skin this is the origins drink up intensive mask now if you don't have dry skin you probably I don't know if you'd like this or not but if you have dry skin I would highly recommend this it smells like mangoes first of all which I personally love and it is so so hydrating I leave this on overnight my skin is it's like I'm a new person the next day seriously like I will have the driest flakiest skin I put this on overnight I'm a new person love this will forever repurchase this this is such a great hydrating mask I have not found one 
like an overnight mask like this that I like nearly as much as this. And then finally, I have this one from Peter Thomas Roth. And I do like a couple of Peter Thomas Roth masks, but I wanted to like, again, narrow this down. This is a really cool mask as well. This is the Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Atomic Heat Mask. And this one, as you rub it onto your face as well, and this one, as you rub it onto your face, heats up as well, similar to that sauna scrub mask. So this is really going to open up your pores and just really allow you to like deep cleanse your pores. I use this a lot because I work retail and I just always feel super dirty. I use this two times, sometimes three times per week. I don't know if there's a like minimum or maximum, but this has made such a difference in my skin when I'm using this consistently. I notice that my pores don't seem as clogged. My skin isn't as dull and it just looks more like vibrant and fresh. So really, really love this mask. I think this is totally worth, I think it's like $58, definitely worth it. I still have a ton of product left. And like I said, I use this all the time. So would definitely recommend checking this out. And then the last product I have to recommend is a lip mask, which I'm hurry, which I'm sure you guys have heard many people recommend in their recommendation videos, but it is the Laneige Lip Care Sleeping Mask. They do now offer the vanilla in stores, the full-size vanilla in stores, which is so exciting. I love the vanilla one. Uh, this one is just the original, which is also really, really good. I lather this all over my lips before I go to bed, and when I wake up, it's like my lips are like again like a new person new lips i usually still have some of this on my lips in the morning seriously and sometimes when i'm really feeling really dry my lips are always so chapped and dry sometimes i'll bring this to work and use this as a lip gloss and like yolo i don't care it gives your lips a nice like plump look like a nice wet plump look and sometimes you just need it i would also recommend the bite beauty agave lip mask but i can't find either of mine right now i have two and I cannot find either of those, but those are also amazing at repairing the lips. So we definitely recommend those two lip products. But after that, that is going to conclude, finally, conclude all of my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you plan to pick up during the sale. Other than that, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Thanks for watching.